Now I want to spend a few minutes to talk about the differences between the Puritan Bennett 560 ventilator and the Puritan Bennett 980 ventilator. There are obvious differences that you see in terms of size. What about on the inside of the product itself? The 560 ventilator really only goes up to about 50% FiO2. So there is a little connector in the back. We call it a low flow oxygen connector. There's not a high pressure connection in the back of the 560 ventilator. Whereas the 980 ventilator does have a high pressure connection and can deliver up to 100% of oxygen. The second thing is that the PEEP level that you can set on this is less than what it is on the 980 ventilator. So on the 560, you can set up to 20 centimeters of water pressure, whereas on the 980, you can go up to 45 centimeters of water pressure. Now, another strategy that some people use is inverse ratio pressure control, for example, or APRV. The 560 is not designed to do inverse ratio and cannot do five, uh, inverse ratio, whereas the Puritan Bennett 980 can go inverse um, up to 10 to 1 ratios or even beyond 10 to 1 ratios. There is also differences in the breath types that are allowed on each product. The 560 doesn't have APRV, it doesn't have proportional assist ventilation plus, it doesn't have things like tube compensation, whereas the 980 does have those. So in terms of winning strategies and other breath types, there are distinct differences between the two. There are also some capabilities where the 980 has leak compensation for significant leaks and you don't find quite the same type of uh, strategy and feature set on the 560 ventilator. Then the gas delivery system. So the 560 uses a turbine based as compared to proportional solenoids on the 980 ventilator. When you think about a patient who might have high resistance or low compliance, a turbine is gonna have a little bit more, uh, a little bit harder time trying to deliver that amount of pressure or volume to those types of patients as compared to a proportional solenoid based ventilator like the 980 ventilator. And then you, on, on the 560, you really have settings for things like flow sensitivity, uh, one, two, three, four, five, whereas on the 980, you have very descript values for setting your flow sensitivity, whether it be one liter per minute, two liters per minute, three liters per minute, things like that. And then finally, uh, just the monitoring capabilities. There's a lot of monitoring capabilities between the two. So for example, the 980 has the mil per kg. If you wanna monitor the mil per kg, you have a lot of flexibility in determining what parameters are most important to you, and there is a lot of parameters you can pick from. Whereas the 560 doesn't really have that. There is no really select patient monitoring parameters that you can configure and change and adjust, as well as just the total amount that, they, uh, that it doesn't have as compared to the 980. Uh, and then the other thing that uh, you cannot do is some of the respiratory uh, compliance maneuvers. So if you wanna do an NIF, if you want to check the static compliance, if you wanna check the resistance on a patient, a 560 does not have that capability, whereas the 980 has that capability. So when you think about the differences in the products, there are a number of differences in the products. They both do the basic modes of ventilation. Uh, they both do have PEEP. They do both provide oxygen, but there are some real distinct differences that you want to keep in mind.